Hi, we are from Group 3. Welcome to our video presentation for paper making production from rice straw. I'm Nur Laila Bibi Binti Naina Muhammad. I am Nur Fahani Binti Zaidi. I, I am Nazira Mama Rosli. I am Nazira Binti Mama Inus. I am Nur Aina Jiha Binti Kamarudin. So these are the elements that we will present to you. Some contribution of paper in rice processing, production of paper, and some recommendations. So let's get started. So for the introduction part, I will explain what is rice straw, benefit of rice straw, and the um, bleaching technique lah, uh, in the paper production. So, rice straw is the one of the important materials that have been used in pulp and paper production due to high cellulose content. So, by reading journals, uh, I found that uh, rice straw contain 33 to 40% of cellulose, 24 to 28% of hemicellulose, and 2 to 25% of lignin. In worldwide, 300 million metric tons of paper have been produced every day and approximately 19% of from this paper production are from mature uh, pulp, pulp wood. So, use of rice straw as a raw material in the pulp and paper production is dual benefit for farmers and industries. Moreover, bleaching is a key step in the production of paper but it also uh, responsible for causing uh, pollution like water pollution. So most industries around the world use chlorine dioxide, hypochlorite and hydrogen peroxide uh, to switch the basic chlorine free shot sequence to bleaching techniques. So next is the contribution of paper. So basically, uh, the rice straw in Malaysia is mainly disposed by open burning. So um, the production of paper from the rice straw can increase the farmer's knowledge on the diversification of straw potential uses. And without this understanding, uh, the rice straw can be simply burned uh, in the field as an agricultural waste. Um, next, uh, the this paper production from rice straw could benefit the farmers as uh, it can generate additional income for them. And also, uh, this paper production from the rice straw contributes to an eco-friendly approach for waste management uh, to the rice sector. So next, we will be presenting about the paper making process which there are three stages of producing a paper which are manufacturing of pulp, preparation of products and development of paper. Next is the technique for paper making preparation from rice straw. The process begins with cutting process in which rice straw was cut into small pieces of 2 to 3 cm length. Then the cleaning process. Rice straw was cleaned with tap water to remove the dirt and impurities. And then the soaking process. 20 gram of choked, washed and dried rice straw was soaked for 30 minutes in a 15% solution of sodium carbonate at 100 degrees Celsius. The use of alkaline pigment, which is the sodium carbonate, is to overcome both chemical and physical barriers and makes polysaccharides easily available for enzyme digestion. Then the chemical solution was decanted off and rice straw was washed with warm water until clean, colorless and neutral to the pH paper. After the removal of silica from the rice straw, it is being cooked with 6% concentration of sodium hydroxide which takes 1 hour of cooking time and 30 minutes of holding time which will head at 170 degrees C by using a digester. 6% concentration of sodium hydroxide will result in a good quality of paper which give 46% of brightness. So in beating process, two knife is used in a beater. 
for quick digesting and consistent pulp. The beating process will carry out until the pulp consistency was held between 80 to 100 grams per meter square in the beater. So, for a good quality of strength for paper production, 1% of sodium silicate has been mixed in the beater. And lastly, the cylinder mold press with rollers is used to smooth out of the pulp. So, the traces of water in the pulp were removed with the drum close sheet by pressing it. And then the wet sheet is dried at 110 degrees C by a sheet former machine. So finally, the smooth product of paper is obtained. So for the conclusion and recommendations. In conclusion, the method currently used for evaluating uh, chlorinated compound problems in wastewater from paper mills has been reviewed and the objectives are achieved. And the pre-treatment pre that we discovered uh, from the paper is uh, chemical properties of the pulping process such as kappa numbers and residual alkali and then the sodium silicate additives with strong tensile strength very high opacity good brightness and good surface characteristics is used to eliminate the problems of chlorinated compounds in waste in wastewater of paper mills other recommendations that can be implemented is to reuse of water so it so that it does not give harmful to the environment and the industry also can reduce water consumption so lower levels of suspended solids are released to the environment and lastly the industry can improve on the wastewater management so that's all from us thank you